In this lecture, we will cover our first features, extrude bus, cut extrude, and fillet. We will use those to create the following model. You can download this drawing from the download section. Before we start modeling, let's explain what are bus extrude, cut extrude, and fillet. Starting with extrude bus. Basically, it's pushing out into the third dimension, adding materials. So we can go from the 2D sketch on the left to the 3D model on the right. Cut extrude is the opposite of extrude bus. Here, we are cutting into the third dimension by removing material. With cut extrude, we can go from the 2D sketch on the left to that hole you see on the right. Fillets are basically rounding sharp edges. So using fillets, we can go from the model on the left to the model on the right. So let's go back to our model for this lecture. When we create models, it's always good to plan our steps. So for this model, we can plan our steps as following. We can start with a plain box using extrude boss, then cut a hole by cut extrude, and then apply a fillet. So let's go ahead and start creating the model. We will start with creating the first step, the box. So we're going to select the top plane for this. So top plane, sketch, and then I'm going to sketch a square. So I'm going to do a rectangle and then I'm going to make this side equal this side using a relation. And then I'm going to set this side to be 5 inches. Now we have just done the first two steps of creating a feature. The first was to select a plane and the second was to do a sketch. Now we go to the third step, which is to apply a feature. So we go to the Features tab here in the top and we click on it. Now we want to create a box, so we're going to use the Extrude Boss feature. So if we click on that, we're going to get a preview of what we're doing. So here we're getting a preview of the Extrude. Here, this distance represents how much of an extrude we want. We want this to be a box, so we're going to increase this to 5 inches. And you note as we increase this number, the extrude preview is getting bigger and bigger. So we're going to set this to 5, and then we're going to click OK. So we just finished creating a box. Now we go to the second step, which is to create that hole in the middle. So we first select a plane. Now let's stop here for a second. Now since we have a box, we have just created six additional planes to the three original ones. So now we have the three original planes, the right plane, the top plane, the front plane, and then Every face of that box we just created represent another plane that we can always use for an additional sketch. So let's go ahead and see how that works. If I click on the top surface here, it's highlighted. And then I can go back to the Sketch tab. And then I can click on Sketch. And now we are in the Sketch mode on the surface. And here in the design tree, you can see we have an active sketch. Now, how can we change the view to face that surface? We can go to the design tree and then right click on the sketch. And then you see this sign here. Click on it and it will take you normal to that sketch. Now what we want to do is to draw another square with the side being 
3 inches this time. So we're going to do the same thing. Go to the rectangle and then draw a rectangle in the middle. Click Escape. Go to Smart Dimension. Make that to be 3. Click OK. And then we can make a relation between this side and this side. We're going to make them equal. And now we have a fully defined square. So now we have created our sketch. We move to the next step, which is to apply a feature. So we're going back to features. And this time, we're going to use the opposite of extrude boss, which is extruded cut. So if you click on that, we're going to get the same thing, a preview. The camera here didn't fix. You can always click the mouse wheel and then move it to see the review. Again, here for distant, you see it's already set for 5 inches because we've used 5 inches before in the extrude. We can decrease that and you're going to see how the preview is affected. Here in the drop down menu, you'll see some options. Currently it's set to blind, which means we are setting how much of a cut we want. If we drop that menu down, you're going to see different options of how you want the cut. Now we want the cut to go through the whole cube. So here there is an option that says through all. If we click on it, it will automatically cut through all the box. So that's what we want. We're going to click OK. And now we have a box with a hole in the middle. Now we're going to the last bit, which is to create the fillet. So in the command bar, we're going to click fillet. And then we're going to get some options on the left. Currently, as starters, we are only going to concern ourselves with two fields. The field that says item to fillet, and then the fillet parameters. So let's start with the item to fillet. Here, you can select the edges where you want the fillet to be. According to the drawing we have, we want the fillet to be over all the edges on the top and on the bottom. So we can go to this edge here and click on it. And then go to the second edge here, click on it. Go to the third edge, click on it. The fourth edge and select all the edges we want. So now we have all the edges on the top selected. And when you do that, you will be able to see a preview. We also want to apply fillets on the other side. So we're going to click on the wheel on the mouse and then rotate the model. And now we are exposed to the bottom part and we can do the same thing. There is a shortcut here that we can use. Since all the fillets apply on the edges around this surface, we can select the surface and SolidWorks will automatically select all the edges around it. So if I click on the surface, you will see that the fillet is being applied to all the edges around the surface. So that's a shortcut that we can use. And now we're going down to the fillet parameter. According to the drawing, the fillet has a radius of 0.25 inches. And we can input that here. So if we increase this, you'll be able to see that the fillet is getting bigger. If we decrease it, you'll notice the fillet is getting smaller. We want that to be 0.25 inches. So we're going to type in 0.25 and then if we're set we're going to the top and click OK. And now we have the fillet created and that's the model we wanted. While you're here take some time to play around with those features we just explored. If you have any questions 
post them in the discussion board.